Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now in pollution, as I said, there are many types of pollution like air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution. So at first we will talk about air pollution. So what is air pollution? In simple words again, it is contamination of air with harmful substances. When undesirable poisonous substances are present in the air, we say that the air is no more clean and fresh and it is polluted. So this is called air pollution. Now what are the harmful effects of air pollution? So what do we mean by harmful substances here? When I say when some undesirable substances or harmful substances are present in the air. So what could be these harmful substances? Now they can be some harmful gases which we do not want to inhale and which we do not want to get inside our body. They could also be some poisonous particles. So maybe not in the form of gases but in the form of small tiny particles which are extremely poisonous. It could also be some biological molecules which are again not very useful. So it could be anything. It could be gases, particles, molecules, anything. So now let us look at the harmful effects of air pollution. Why is pollution so deadly? I mean why are we so much scared of pollution and why we don't want this to happen? So let us look at some of the harmful effects. Contaminated air affect respiratory system of humans and other animals. Now what happens is when we breathe, so what do we breathe? We breathe the air which is present in our surroundings, correct? Now what will happen if that air which we are breathing in is contaminated? Now it is very easy for those undesirable substances to get inside our body. In fact, even before our body, they will directly get into our respiratory system because when we breathe, what happens? Through the nasal passage, it directly gets into our lungs. So it is very easy for the particles to get inside our body, especially the lungs and affect our respiratory system. Therefore, contaminated air can directly affect the respiratory system of humans as well as other animals. So that is the first harmful effect. Reduce crop yield. Now, if there is air pollution, what happens? The entire air is contaminated. Now, even for plants, they also undergo photosynthesis or respiration. So they also exchange gases. Exchange of gases takes place between the plant as well as the surroundings. Now, again, if the surrounding air is polluted, obviously the air which the plant is taking in is also polluted. So obviously the uh, productivity of the plant will reduce and therefore the crop yield will also decrease. Premature death of plants, it can even cause death of plants because sometimes the air might contain some so much harmful chemicals that as soon as it gets inside the plants, it can completely kill the plant. It can kill the cells present inside the plant. So that means it can even cause death of plants. In fact, in case of humans and other animals also, if the contamination become too severe, it can even lead to death of a person. Diseases and death in humans and other animals, as I said just now, so many chronic diseases can be caused due to breathing problems. So now let us look at the causes. Now we already saw there are so many harmful effects. Now one important thing is how much harmful it will be on a particular organism also depends upon the concentration of the pollutants. Now if the pollutants are present in very high concentration then the effect will also be more severe. Similarly if the exposure to the polluted air is for a longer time in that case also the effect will be more severe. So duration of exposure to the polluted air and concentration of pollutants in the air. These two factors also determine how severe the harmful effects of air pollution will be. So now let us look at the what causes air pollution. So first is industrial emissions, factories and industries which have been set up these days. They emit a large number of poisonous gases. Now some of the gases produced out of these factories are carbon monoxide, sulfur along with oxygen and nitrogen. 
It also produces several uh, harmful chemicals like uh, uh, furans and toxins and these kind of chemicals have even have the capability to mutate human genes. So just imagine how powerful these chemicals are. And these kind of chemicals and harmful gases are emitted out of factories and industries. Normally we get carbon monoxide and these kind of gases by burning of plastics. So when you have plastic factories and all, so there obviously plastics are being burnt as well. So these gases will definitely come out. Dust. Now, dust from large stretches of land with little or no vegetation can also cause air pollution. And that is why if you have more greenery, if you have more vegetation, so the possibility of having dust also reduces. You would have seen that in cities, uh, in many places, you have a big open space where you do not have a single plant. There is no greenery at all, but you just have a long stretch of land which has a lot of sand and dust. That's all it has. So these kind of large stretches of land with no vegetation it turns out to give more dust. Radioactive emissions. Now what are radioactive emissions? Now you have learned about radioactivity in your physics as well as maybe chemistry. So during the process of radioactivity what happens? These radiations are extremely strong which comes out of some radioactive elements. Now this radioactive decay occurs within the crust of the earth. Now there are gases like the red radon which are produced and these gases are extremely harmful. So radon is one of such gases which is extremely harmful. It is so harmful that it can even cause diseases like lung cancer. So radioactive emissions are also very harmful and moreover one disadvantage is that since radioactivity is a long term process, I mean it keeps taking place years after years. So the life of radioactive element is also quite high as compared to others. So therefore these radioactive emissions always have some long term effects. Volcanic activity, such activity also produce harmful uh, gases like sulfur, chlorine, ash. So all these things can also produce, uh, also cause air pollution. Smoke. So smoke from fires also produce carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide, please remember that carbon monoxide is also another harmful gas which we which is not at all desirable in the environment. Automobiles. Now when you say automobiles, it is not only the smoke coming out of the automobiles. So smoke coming out of them, that is one thing. So that causes pollution. Other than that, the noise of the automobiles can also cause pollution. Now some people have a habit of honking unnecessarily. So unnecessary honking can also create noise pollution. So that means automobiles can create a lot of pollution. However, here in this case, as when we are talking about air pollution, then we will consider only the smoke emitted from the automobiles. Noise. So the amount of sound being produced which is beyond the normal hearing range of a person. So that also falls under the category of pollution because too much of noise can cause psychological damage as well as physiological damage to human beings. So therefore too much of noise is or exposure to too much of noise is as equivalent to uh, exposure to pollution. So that is why Excessive noise is also categorized under the pollution category. So these are some of the causes which can cause air pollution. So now we will discuss how we can control each of these. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.